Alrighty then, so a couple of months ago I fitted these uh, motor gadget grips and indicators and um, they're great, I love them. The bit on the bike that I think is next and hasn't really been touched, isn't really in keeping with the design, for me is these rear indicators. So because I like the motor gadgets on the front, I've bought some stuff and I've decided to go with the motor gadget um, they're called ice. Let me show you what they look like. They're just turn signals, so they're not the brake lights as well, which uh, these are, are currently, so it's all integrated into one. Um, but they're quite cool. The, the, the kind of light part is in the base, and then the light shoots up. They've done some fancy scientific cuts of plastic here, which they sex up on their descriptions. Um, of the product and essentially what it means is it just makes the light come out that way. So the plan is I'm going to put these in place with the standard indicators. Um, there is a slight problem when you take these off there's a big hole here I believe. So I also bought these. I can find them. So these are um, essentially like little blanking plates. So they'll cover the hole and then the indicator can uh, attach through the hole. And then the final bit is this, which is a piece of crap I bought off eBay about pff, three months ago. Um, and it is just the brake light. And when it arrived, I was like, yeah, there, there, there's no way that I'm putting this on the bike. But actually, now that I've taken off the side plate, or rather fitted the side plate and taken off the back number plate, I kind of think that this, if it's fitted just underneath here, I've put a few sticky dots to try and hold it in place, which are failing. There we go, that kind of is holding. Um, so I'm kind of thinking that I'll put some VHB tape on there, uh, hold it in place, and then with the side indicators, this, this could look quite cool. So that's the plan for today. I'm not really sure about the wiring. Let's take the old indicators off, cut up the wires, see what we've got. I've got my soldering iron at the ready and some of the shrink wrap so that uh, I can attach them up and uh, hopefully it's going to look a lot better. So let's see how we go. All right, so I've cut the indicator off and now I'm going to take the rails off so that I can get a better look what's going on inside because I think I need to get at it to take this off. You can tell when your OCD is kicking in when you're cleaning the inside of your rear rail. So here is the, the problem that I've come up against. The shaft for the indicator isn't actually long enough to go through the little blanking plate and then get through uh, the, the kind of subframe uh, at the back. So I've, uh, I've, I've spent the last kind of day and a half trying to think of some options here. Um, all kinds of stuff like trying to get, I don't know, some kind of extended hollow bolt through here. And actually the simplest idea I've decided is to attach the indicator rather than to the frame to the rail cover, um, which I think should give it enough strength. So. Here's what I've done. I've put the blanking plate on first of all. I'm now going to feed these cables through the blanking hole and I'm going to go for the second hole that would marry up to this one here on the frame. Okay, next. Next, I'm going to put the, the bolt on. And then just tighten this up.
where we go. So now we've got the cables coming down. I've got the old cables here where we can do some of the, uh, the soldering to attach. I just need to get the same job done on the other side. It's looking nice. That's a great look. Um, we have got the two wires for each of the indicators. Huge amount of wire. I'm going to have to cut this back. You cannot cut behind this block. So I'm going to have a little bit of length and I'll need to do some tucking uh, on those wires. What I now need to work out is with this new rear light, putting that under here, I've got a whole nest of different cables uh, now to work out how these connect. Right, okay, I have worked out the colours and I'm going to show you how I've done it because it's quite cool. So I've connected this indicator, the black to the black, which leaves me with the red. So I've turned the bike on, I'm going to pop the indicator on, flashing, not flashing. So I know that White is on all the time, so that's going to be the rear running light. Red, nothing. Green, flashing. So green is the indicator. White is the running light. And red, where there's nothing, I'm willing to bet. If I press the brake pedal, there we go. The brake pedal is activating it. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of shrink wrap tubing. Uh, let's go with this one, if that'll fit, onto these cables, just to protect them a little bit at the base. Well, last night these two bouncers and one of them's all right, the other one's a scary, and his way or no way, totalitarian. He's got no time for you, looking or breathing, how he doesn't want you to. So step out of the queue, he makes examples of you, and there's no can say behind the go through to the bit where you pay and you realize then that it's finally the time to walk back past ten thousand eyes in a line and you can swap jumpers and make another move it's still in your brain you've got something to prove to all the smirky faces and the boys in black why can't it be pleasant why can't they have a laugh he's got his hand in your chest he wants to give you a dub well secretly i think he wants you all to kick off the one Cables actually come out of the left hand side, so it kind of makes sense for me to do the soldering on these this side, and then I can connect this one purely to um, the indicator. So I'm going to cut these cables back now and get soldering. So I'm pretty shit at soldering, I'll be honest, guys. Shrink wrap those and finish them. Let's just check the indicator works. Brilliant. Last night, what we talked about, it made so much sense. But now the haze has ascended, it doesn't make no sense anymore. We said last night, what we talked about, it made Okay, so that side is done. I'll sort out the wire tuck in a moment. So now I've got the big job, which is gonna be uh, fitting the rear light as well, wiring the rear light. So 
I'm going to have to bear back these cables and then I can start soldering on this side. Okay, cables were all bare back. Okay, there we go. Soldered, shrink wrapped and protected. So before I do the wire tuck, let's turn it on, see if it works. Well, we have a rear light. We have a brake light, left indicator right indicator and a front brake. So the wires have worked, now you just need to tuck them away. Okay, so there is the finished article. much better than the original. So I hope you found this useful. Please subscribe and I'll be making much more in the coming weeks.